Either way. And let's say these are socks or whatever item you want to adjust. Uh, let me go to sculpting and we just move these ones around. Why not? Now, let's add So let's just add a color to it. There it goes. Now we can distinguish something else. All right. So at this point, let's say you added your um, materials to it. The item you want to attach to your model. If we turn on the bones, select this ones. You can go to your post mode and you grab a bone, press G. It's not attached to your model. So you can put it there and the item stays there. G. There we go. So what we want to do, I also want another thing that I like to do, I don't like the way how these bones look. Because they take like way too much space and they're kind of also kind of difficult to like uh, click on whenever you want to. You want to go over here to this little uh, stick figure. Go to your viewport and let's change how we visualize these uh, bones sticks this way they're like a whole lot easier to notice what the bones are and where they end without having like big giant um, figures on them all right so back to where we were we want to attach this to our rig so an easy way to do so is click on uh, let's see, click on your mesh and then your uh, rig you press control P and with automatic weights okay so what this is going to do is pretty much the same thing as um, uh, PMX header does when you transfer the weights from uh, the mesh to the body. This one is going to extend the weights of the bone and extrude it out and attach it to the corresponding mesh that's closest to it it doesn't always work if you have like a some bones or like a complex mix it will screw up so let's see how it happened if you're lucky enough um, it does work and you don't have to do like okay so this one it almost did it except that now 
that and that. So this one uh, didn't manage to grab anything. And so press uh, to bring the bone if you move your model like and you want her to um, get back to place type in a you select all the bones control R gets rid of all the rotations Con Alt G gets rid of any of the uh, movements that you did. Right, so with those two, she's back into her A position. Okay, let's go back to post mode. And another way we want to do in order to like fix the little issue would be select our mesh that has the weights that do have the proper weights that you know of and that's going to be pretty much the body select that one shift click on your new item and for us it's going to be the uh what we did right now we're going to go to over here and weight paint. From here, don't press on anything else. They're already selected. We're going to click on this drop down and say transfer weight. Now, the weight of the skin got extruded out into the model but you're not quite done yet you're gonna go down here don't click on anything else or else this little box is just gonna go the way and you're gonna have to redo it open this one up and source layer selection you wanna add the by name all right this is gonna transfer the weights a little more now once you move it and it didn't quite do this and continue you can actually play with these settings increase it back and forth and it's gonna like blend in more of the weights so now the weight of the skin should have been transferred into the uh, model. So let's go over to object, select our bones, select to post mode, grab a controlling bone, and now that is attached so let's grab that one All right so that's following that's following that one All right, let's check this one. If it's that one's doing the same, all right, so those seem to be following as you would expect. Now select all of your model, control R and control G, and she's back to her A position. Go to your object mode, and pretty much you are done here.
But let's say there were 